Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to hook up the RTMR into the car. I'm also going to uh, provide links in this video to other YouTubers that have done the detail videotaping of how to connect all the wires into the RTMR. I don't need to repeat that information. Uh, there's some really good video out there. Um, I will also uh, include the, uh, the wiring diagram that I used to put the RTMR together um, and how I ran all of the wiring. Um, Hopefully you enjoy the video and you learn something from it. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. This is the location for the RTMR. It is taking the place of the original windshield washer bottle. I'm going to show you a couple of close-ups of the features of how things have been connected. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview and then I'll, I'll uh, zoom into the areas. The wiring is going through the bulkhead here where the heater hose uh, used to come out. Um, the ground for the RTMR is hooked up to the uh, grounding on the battery box. I've got the power cable running here to the solenoid so that's powering the RTMR. Um, I've also uh, drilled a hole in the center of the bulkhead um, uh, shelf and what I'm going to do is bolt in this side of the RTMR to that hole and this side to the uh, original hole for uh, the coil. Now I'll show you some of the close-ups of those areas. Here's the grounding for the RTMR. It's the large cable here. I think that is a 10 gauge um, this is the cable coming off the battery and I've got another ground that I've run from inside um, the underneath the dash. I will remove that and, and um, this is only a temporary location right now. So when I'm done there will only be um, two, two wires on this ground. Here's the close-up of the wiring running through the bulkhead. I've got um, a grommet that I've gotten from a hardware store that fits in that hole uh, perfectly. Um, I've also got um, the, the cables for the RTMR running through as well as the cable that runs from the alternator. So the alternator is, uh, to regenerate the battery is running through the starter solenoid and um, through the, um, the positive cable going into the battery. Um, that is a, a rerouting, so I've, I now have, uh, I no longer have any wires running along the back of um, the bulkhead. And this is the only um, unfused um, positive wire running uh, inside of the car. Now when I'm done, or also, so the cabling coming here. Um, I think there's one thing I would have preferred to do uh, in retrospect is actually wire up the RTMR first and then run the cabling to the um, to the main harness um, but uh, and the reason for that is you can see that there's some gaps here uh, it's really really difficult to get everything lined up underneath the RTMR um, and get the, the cabling running very um, smoothly throughout the, the um, um, uh, throughout the entire run. So um, the, I've made it made some of the adjustments underneath the dash. It's not that bad but uh, it would have been neater if I was able to run it directly. Now um, I'm going to also show you underneath the RTMR. Uh, let me do it this way. So you can see I've got the all the jumpers in here um, going uh, from the the uh, bust positive side to the art to the um, relays. You can also see um, the the uh, non-relay side. These are all of the the browns are the um, unfused coming in um, circuits, and the purples are the always fused um, always on fused circuits. 
So I followed the color coding all the way through and you can see it, uh, I'll post that on the, the PowerPoint slide I'll include in the video. Um, additionally, you'll see um, I've included um, plugs in, into any of the cavities that uh, were not uh, used. I will post all of the um, all of the components that were used to build this RTMR. Also, you can see the I've, I've already installed the relays. These are single pole, single throw relays, so they're four pin relays. I have not um, done the calculations yet for all of the um, fuses. Uh, I do have a, a nice box of fuses that I will be putting in place. And you'll notice also that there's one uh, relay that is not being used. So that's uh, something for the future. I've plugged all of those related holes with uh, the cavity plugs. Okay, so um, this is I'm going to start bolting this up and I'll show you how it looks when it's done and the other thing I need to do is to um, run the um, or, or wrap the wiring with uh, friction tape to protect it. All right, it's all bolted up and wired up and all of the friction tape has been put on the wiring harness so that uh, we reduce the chance of uh, cutting through one of the wires. I'll give you a real quick close-up uh, on the next couple of shots here. Here's the wiring harness all wrapped in friction tape. I ran the um, power for the RTMR and put it in on the solenoid as before. I put that uh, cable along the top of the, the uh, RTMR um, cabling and I ran the negative underneath the cabling it looks like it I've got it uh, the right length here um, I've put the um, again just two cables now I took out the extra piece of cabling that I already noticed um, that's been removed I need to plug that um, hole in the um, in the firewall but uh, that that'll come up next um, I've left the um, positive battery cable unhooked. I don't want to, uh, I haven't gotten all of the wiring hooked up on all the wiring harnesses and I don't want to cross uh, any of the wires or ground anything and cause a fire. So I'm leaving that open at this point. Um, everything's been bolted through. I used a uh, um, quarter inch um, nuts and or quarter inch nuts and bolts and everything's in, uh, in place. So nice and solid. Won't be going anywhere. Now, next next thing I got to do is just figure out the uh, fuses that go in here. But everything is uh, ready to go. Okay, here's what the RTMR looks like with the cover on it. And you'll see, you'll note in the back here, there's a lanyard um, that bolts the cover on so you don't lose it. What's really nice about this RTMR um, is that it is IP... Uh, IPT65 rated, so it's rated for dust and um, not water submergence, but uh, it will reduce the amount of water that we'll get in. It should be okay with splash water, which we'll get inside of the, the engine compartment here. So um, all the electrical components, when you've got all of the, the plugs in place and, all, and if it's installed properly, um, it should um, preclude any water intrusion into the into the wiring circuit so good to go um, well I hope you enjoyed that video and that you found it useful in the next episode we're going to be hooking up the tail lights um, I will be making some modifications in that I'll be using LED tail lights and I'm going to individually ground each of the lights hopefully you'll enjoy that video as well um, and until next time rev them if you got them